Come on in. Gaston Pereira, CEO of Cupagos. Gaston, welcome back. It's a pleasure, sir. Now, the new president of Mexico, Obrador, he takes office tomorrow. Right. What does he think about the deal signed by his predecessor? I think he's very happy. First of all, remember, he embedded uh, his own people in the negotiations. So, really, this is a joint undertaking by the, by the outgoing president and the incoming president. I always thought of this, the new president as a man very much on the left. And I'm surprised that he would agree with Trump and Trudeau about this new deal. Jobs, jobs, ah, jobs. That's it. Exports. It's very important, really, for Mexico, the automobile sector and the agricultural sector. It made a lot of sense. So he's very happy. At least he has this stability in place. He has other problems come forward. But today, this is good for Mexico. Am I right in saying that Mexico's auto workers are guaranteed a much higher wage. Is that is that true? Not really. Not really. No, well, not? obviously, sixteen dollars. Uh, but uh, if they don't come there, you know, there are not going to be cars coming out of Mexico. So it's really a provision that is really a carrot to eventually get there. But if they don't get there, it doesn't hurt the 1.6 million cars that they're guaranteed on a yearly basis. But but this new deal. USMCA. Yes. That does say, hey, you auto workers in Mexico are going to get a lot more money. That, that is accurate. Yes, but they say 30% of the content, blah, 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 blah. So if you don't get to the $16, which is very difficult to get from $16, from $8 or something like that, it doesn't mean that it's going to hamper production in Mexico. It's not going to allow it to go a little bit bigger, but okay. it's not. Uh, steel and aluminum tariffs, yeah. still there. That's the problem. Away. Both Canada and, the, the, and Mexico wanted that to be part of this deal. It's not going to be there. But remember, President Trump has done a lot of waivers around the world for many other things. So they probably will get waivers so that the, the system doesn't get changed, and hopefully they get relief through waivers. Forgive me, but I want to just change the subject away yes. from USMCA NAFTA. Yes, yes. Look what's going on on the southern border. That's a tent city, several thousand people on the Mexican side. Disease is rife. There's some criminality there, but this is Obrador's problem. What's he going to yes, do about yes. it? Well, uh, historically, uh, Mexico has been very tolerant uh, with uh, marches and protests. Remember, back to 68, there was a sure. massacre that since then, Mexico has been very tolerant. It has been very difficult to stop this caravan, even though they tried at the southern border and they offered them jobs, they offered them social, uh, social services. Very few people uh, agreed to those. So, unfortunately, these people have been motivated or led by the wrong uh, parties because um, this is a problem for the U.S. and Mexico. And is Mexico, is Mexico going to move them out? Send them back? I think Take them back? Well, it's, it's, it's difficult. So they're going to have to find that relief, and they're, they're asking for help at the United Nations. They're also, the United States is hoping that Mexico will keep some of these people for the time that the, the, the refugee status uh, is available in Mexico instead of here. So that's, that's the first challenge of it's Lopez Obrador. It's a mess, and that's a fact. It's difficult. Yes. Uh, Gaston, thank you very much for it's joining It's a pleasure, us. like always. Big day. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Thank Bye. you.